Finally, we're going to discuss the parameters of a filter or a sister transfer function. So filters can be described by reference to five parameters. Their natural frequency, also called their center frequency, their upper cutoff frequency, lower cutoff frequency, bandwidth, or the width of frequencies that pass through, the attenuation rate, which is also known as the rejection rate. So the natural frequency or the center frequency. I know we like to have a lot of names for things in hearing science. So the natural frequency or the center frequency is the frequency that will result in the maximum amplitude of vibration. And that depends, again, on the mass and the elasticity of the system. So we have two curves here. We have curve A and curve B. They each have their own center frequency. Then we have the upper cutoff frequency, the FU, frequencies above the FC that are attenuated. The filtering that begins almost immediately after the FC. So it's the 3 dB down point from the very top of the filter going down 3 decibels, the cutoff point for the upper limit of the frequency filter. We also have an FL or frequency lower limit. So every filter is going to have an F lower and an F upper. In this figure, you have two filters. So you have to look at this a little closely. There's the filter with the solid line, and there's a filter with the dashed line. Both filters share the same center frequency, but they have different upper cutoff limits and different lower cutoff limits. So the upper cutoff limit is after the center frequency, the 3 dB down point, and the lower cutoff limit is before the 3 dB down point before 3 dB below reaching the center frequency. Now the bandwidth is between the pointer frequencies between the F upper and the F lower that get passed by the filter. So the range of frequencies that get through between the F upper and the F lower. Beyond the F upper limit and beyond the F lower limit is the attenuation rate or the roll-off rate or the rejection rate. They all mean the same thing. The rate at which the amplitude of the response is attenuated or lessened. So now we can calculate the roll-off rate for the solid line filter, A, and the dashed line filter, B. The roll-off rate for the solid line filter is 10. Do you see the difference between 10 and 20? Go across the line to the dash filter. The roll-off rate for the dash filter is 15, between 20 and 35. So B has a, is steeper. B is more narrowly tuned than curve A. Curve A is more broadly tuned filter than curve B. Curve B has a steeper rejection rate or roll-off rate or attenuation rate. There are different types of filters. There's a low-pass filter. Low-pass filters let low-frequency energy pass through, and they attenuate high-frequency energy. So low-pass filters pass energy below some designated upper cutoff frequency, the FU. And again, we're looking at two curves here, our curve with the dash line and a curve with the solid line. So a low-pass filter, if you look at this figure, is letting low-frequency energy through, but it's cutting off high-frequency energy. So it's cutting off energy beyond the F upper. A high-pass filter is the opposite. High-pass filters let high-frequency energy pass through. So they pass energy above some de designated lower cutoff frequency, the FL. High-pass filters let high-frequency energy pass through. A band-pass filter is a combination of both. Band-pass filters let a band of frequency pass through. So they filter low-frequency energy, and they filter high-frequency energy, and a band of energy 
is allowed to go through between the high pass and the low pass cutoff.